This is Damodhan R, currently pursuing B.Tech Information Technology in CEG and University. I am from the Gindi Times, the official campus magazine of CEG, AC Tech and ACP campus. I welcome you all to the fourth edition of Intern Diaries, I initiative by Gindi Times to bring out the experience of the final year students about their internship. Today, we have Ms. Subiksha pursuing Biomedical Engineering and Ms. Madhumita pursuing Biotechnology in Anna University. They have completed a graduate research internship at University of Suspect H1 in Canada. We welcome you both. So you. let us start the interview. Can you tell a bit about yourself and your interests? Yeah, so I'm Subiksha, as you said, um, final year biomedical engineering undergraduate. And my interests are in the field of tissue engineering, instrumentation and drug discovery. And apart from that, I love to read and write also. Yeah. I am Madhumita from Industrial Biotechnology Department, AC Tech, currently into my final year. Uh, for as long as I remember, pursuing a career in medical genetics has, had always been my dream. Uh, for me, the thought that my novel solutions can contribute to uh, up improving people's quality and life health is very enjoyable. And that's why I chose a career in career uh, cancer genetics and genomics as my field of interest. It is very interesting to hear that. What is the difference between a research internship and a normal internship? And why did you choose the research one? So normal internship as in uh, company internships generally helps you uh, procuring a job. So here you will be learning a quite a lot, which may not directly help you with your studies since there isn't much from your side. Uh, those who want an intern uh, at a company uh, usually look for a place where it is like they would finally end up doing a job there. Meanwhile, working under a professor, which will totally be different experience altogether. This is this will help uh, uh, you get a broader perspective of your current ongoing research in your field. Since I wanted to do my uh, research-based master's, I took up this internship. Yeah, as she said, uh, basically a research intern will help us during our master's and PhD. So yeah, the mindset of continuing our research work will be really helpful. And for those you know who wants to enter into core jobs and all, uh, core interns will be really helpful. And yeah, I wanted to continue my research work and I wanted to do master's and all. And so that is what I chose. It is very great to hear that. What was the subject of your research internship and what were the steps that you took to prepare yourself for this internship? Okay, so my intern, it was totally related to bioprinting of cardiac patches that would be helpful for MI repair. Since it is virtual this time, this intern due to pandemic, uh, it was converted to some other intern. It was converted to the market analysis of tissue engineering and bioprinting in Canada uh, because my former intern was totally related to lab work. Uh, as we couldn't go there, uh, the intern was converted to this intern. And yeah, the steps in the sense, actually, um, I got to know this intern only about uh, four to five days before the deadline. Uh, prior to that, I was using some other means to find the interns and all. I got this info only just before four or five days. Steps in the sense, I'll say just uh, build your resume in a very strong manner and uh, re be ready with your SOP and be with a clear mind. Like uh, choose your field of interest uh, very clearly and work towards that because that will really help us in procuring the intern uh, because they'll not meet us. They'll only judge us based on these categories. So how much ever we are developing our skills and how much ever experience we are adding to that, so that will be really helpful for you to get the intern. So yes, my field of internship is uh, cancer ge genomics, where we uh, perform gene targeting for cancer cells uh, using a pipeline created uh, uh, between circ RNA and micro RNA and the gene expression analysis. Uh, so uh, the steps what I carried is like reviewing all the eligibility criteria in the first place and confirm that your passport is issued uh, uh, is valid till when you go and settle there and come back till that uh, till that time it must be valid then contacting the professors to provide a reference letter will be your first uh, uh, work then updating your cv um, then i did um, i collect i collected my academic transcripts and penning down the uh, research interests skills and achievements uh, are, are steps to get into this internship you should have all this penned down before you uh, carry out this application form further yeah transcripts are very important like it is a must what is the procedure to apply for a research internship and how does this selection process differ from the normal internship okay 
So uh, there are many ways to get research internships and uh, depends with professor and the universities. You can either contact the professor whom you want to work with directly or apply through a common portal. For my tax, you have to submit the application and select a research projects from the online database. My tax provides professors with a short list of students, candidates of for their projects. Uh, professors are then asked to review the student's application, conduct interviews, and then rank the applicants. So MyTax collects the students and professors' ranking, then finalizes the student's offer. Yeah, as Madhumita said, there are other platforms like that, IS Summer Research Fellowship, Chapak, and all. And what uh, we got was through MyTax. Uh, we have to rank the projects from one to seven based on our preference. And after reviewing our profile, the professors will also do the same with all those applicants they are receiving. They'll rank us and there'll be two round of selection. And prior to that, uh, there was also filtering based on our uh, percentage. That is, it was like for India, it was 80 percent. They'll be getting applicants from over uh, 10 to 15 countries, I guess. And this filtering was done. And after that, uh, during first round, they match the project after all those interview process and all. And then those, some, they won't get in the first round and all. So for them, second round will be beneficial. So during second round, they'll be matched with the specific project. And this was, you know, totally a very lengthy process. And that is what is different from the other process. Could you share some of the experience you had during the research internship? Okay, experience in the sense, yeah, this was totally virtual. I got to learn many new things. I got to experience many new things. If it was in Canada, it would have been different. He would have shared many experiences with you. Yeah, uh, totally. Actually, uh, only one time I met the sir. It was only during the interview. And after that, all this conversation, it was via mail only, mail on other platforms. And apart from that, MyTax also, it was so very full-fledged to make us more interactive. They organized a virtual reception where all those former interns and all, and all those people, they'll be together and uh, we discussed about their interns and our future prospects and all. So that was a really good yeah, for me, the same thing. There was a chance to engage with the fellow in GRI interns and the global graduate fellow uh, alumni. So hear about uh, the inspiring experiences of those who have completed the GRI program and who have to come to Canada to complete the graduate studies using uh, GGF uh, was uh, something interesting and about my internship it is uh, basically interview kind of like it will be direct uh, uh, talk with the professor so we have a weekly uh, weekly scheduled uh, meets and they, then we arrange about the things uh, we have to do the next steps we have to carry out uh, it's basically competition work actually our projects are based on wet lab but since this virtual uh, thing we are having it a computational way how was this internship beneficial to you and how will it be, how it will help your future endeavors um, okay, my tax helped me realize my passion for cancer research and something I can contribute to my society through my discovery. So this was a chance for me to discover a lot about myself. Uh, it was kind of basic due to this virtual platform, but yes, I am trying to give my best. Um, they provide uh, us with the Global Graduate Fellowship uh, for pursuing Master's or PhD in Canada. I think that's a great thing to do our Master's or carry out a further uh, research works in Canada. Um, you also have uh, Dad Weiss, which gives uh, scholarships uh, in Germany. So I think these are the two um, interns which give the fellowship after they finish the internship also, because they provide you with a chance to do the graduate studies in Canada and Germany, respectively. For Canada, you have to go through my tax, and for Germany, you have to go through Dad Weiss scholarship. Yeah, as she said, you know, uh, this made us realize what our uh, interest is. And afterwards, it will be uh, really helpful for us if we are on a venture of pursuing masters. This will be a very good basement. It will help us uh, in a very good manner. And yeah, so it will be really helpful for us. Happy to hear that. that. What advice would you give to your juniors in terms of internship preparation? Okay, advice in the sense, I guess you're also very advanced than us. And also you have a compulsory intern during your second year, I guess, part of the curriculum, but we didn't have that. So that will be really helpful for you to do a very good summer intern during your third year. That will be a very good experience for you. All. And what advice I would give is that um, never miss any chance. Uh, grab all those chances that you're getting. It will be really helpful, even though it is a very little thing. Uh, don't think like that and use it wisely. And apart from that, uh, since now everything is virtual, uh, you can try learning many new things apart from your syllabus, try developing your skills 
try developing uh, i mean try attending other webinars events and so on and you know then you will be able to identify your uh, particular field of interest yeah so develop your skills as much as you can both interpersonal and uh, professional skills that will be really helpful so applicants are generally be, uh, assessed based on the number of factors including your uh, cgpa the quality of your statement of interest and the reference letters so how well your research interest and uh, experience match the research focus of the project or professor uh, gets a big deal here so concentrate work on more uh, about uh, your research interests in the first place get more knowledge and fix a particular uh, field you have to get into and associate with the professor who works on the similar field so that's the main thing you have to build the, this pipeline is very important because uh, your statement of interest and your le reference letters the which you get from your professor reference letters must be similar to the professors who work on the similar field who have already assessed you so um, make sure you get it from the person who is interested in your field and the statement of interest is very important because it is the thing that sets you a stand above you have to uh, yeah, you have to write a perfect statement of interest so that the professor gets inspired by that and he just selects you through that so concentrate to improve your uh, research projects even though you aren't able to get in person internships due to this pandemic try to improve more uh, on your computational skills which uh, really has a great scope as of now because uh, because uh, in biotechnology also we are in need of computational skills everywhere so work on that yeah. and i also yeah. follow a I don't know if it's a trip, tip or a trick, but the thing is, uh, whenever you open uh, uh, the application form and uh, whenever you go through this common portal, you will have a list of professors' names. You have to choose seven out of, uh, there will be many, 17 pages, professors' list will be there. You have to choose a three to seven. Uh, seven in the ranking order, like first preference, second preference, still the seventh preference. So whenever you go through this portal, don't get into the first page because they, they I, I know the first page professors will be good, but the thing is they'll be arranged in alphabetical order sometimes. So search through uh, uh, the professor's interest as well as the um, college's pro uh, province. You have to search uh, through province also and the uh, professor's name, uh, professor's um, uh, interest also you can search. There are two ways to search. But uh, uh, when you go through these 17 pages, many people stick on to the uh, first, uh, first few pages. They don't even go to the last page because we, as a human we get tired reading all the research each professor works and we don't have the patience to get through the all the pages still reaching the 17th page uh, for example the 17th page so uh, i i usually follow a trick which is like get through the 17th page directly then come back because many professors in the first page get the more attraction so uh, whenever you go don't stick on the first page because they'll be in the more demand because every person who is uh, similar to your uh, interest they get into the seven, uh, first page as soon as they enter the portal so get to the 17th the uh, last page of the uh, portal and then come uh, forward so that will help you because uh, you have to work on your interest firstly the, and moreover uh, professors in demand will get the first uh, candidate only they can uh, accommodate only few candidates in their lab so everybody going to the uh, first professor will won't work actually so get to the end and come back so that will help you because i when i applied i uh, i wrote seven uh, professors name and uh, uh, the thing was like for during the first uh, i was selected by three professors but the first two professors uh, uh, the internship interview is the main deal here uh, because when you have the interview please be confident because i wasn't that confident to attend my first interview interview and then uh, during the third interview only the professor selected me so first two professors actually uh, did, didn't consider me due to the uh, interview so that part is the main important part please focus on your skills of speaking to that professor politely and uh, about your interest they ask you questions randomly they don't read only your statement of interest and ask questions related to that they ask questions randomly including your weakness str strength etc etc so focus on that also yeah uh, as she said, like uh, try building more contacts in LinkedIn and all, or set up LinkedIn profiles. And apart from that, once you have started applying, I think it'll start uh, uh, during this month, I guess. So once we have started ranking the projects, to so start reading more research articles and all from Google Scholar and all. As she said, they'll ask questions randomly. Uh, we can guess from what they are asking. So we have to be very strong. Once we are applying to a project, we have to be very strong in whatever questions they'll ask from that. So read as much as research articles, like if you are in the idea of taking the research engine, uh, read as much of 
uh, research articles that will be really helpful and you have to be very bold as she said because interviews the only uh, gateway where we have a direct contact with them and they and it has a very good weightage so crossing that only is the biggest deal here and yeah it will be really helpful if you get this interview number so i suggest everyone to apply for this intent if you are interested in this site uh, linkedin is the main uh, uh, stuff because uh, you get contacts contacts is the main thing so get your linkedin account build a perfect uh, linkedin uh, profile and uh, search according to your interest because you get contacts which is more important i hope a uh, well may advice and definitely help our juniors to get internship and final question is what do you feel about the intern diaries initiative of the kindy times it is yeah. uh, really amazing to create awareness about the internships because many people are looking to have some experience to build up their resume and have a strong academic outline so this is even the right time since my tax application for uh, gri 2022 opens this month in the month of august so actually this is the right time to have this interview so great job yeah as she said uh, i got to know about this only uh, by my friends if not for her i wouldn't have known about this intern and from that time i keep sharing this to my fellow mates and juniors and this is a very good initiative because you take it to all those people like they are waiting for an uh, experience uh, it is really very good as she said it is starting this month so you can go and look it in their website okay guys will be i think it will be very useful to the juniors thank you for your valuable time and sharing the experience about your internship on behalf of kindy times we wish you all the best for your future endeavors thank you thank you so thank you much. you the same Thank yeah so it was a good interview yeah